here, and I have to say, I think those two are both great athletes. Kid USA using his finishing maneuver. Stars. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Nothing. It was a good match. It was. It was a good match. Well, Kid USA has that finishing move. Stars and stripes forever. And it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just. It, I don't know. I just, I just noticed that, like, with your head shaved like this, you can't see how big your bald spot is anymore. And what about that psycho they had in the ring shaving our heads? She had a nice rack, didn't she? She was kind of digging Big Woody, I thought. You know something? I don't know where they found this girl, but I think she belongs in a mental institution because she had way too much fun doing that. I, didn't you? I feel like I should be I charging her with assault and battery for what she did to me. You look good. Well, I look good. Shut up, Woody. <laughs> right now, we're going to go to the top ten for wrestling Star Wars here on This That's Week in idea. Wrestling. <laughs> you better shut up right now. I'm, I'm, I'm and of sorry. course, big and dumb, the New England heavyweight champion, Brian Day, is filling in the top spot. Coming in at number one is a television champion, <laughs> Kid USA. Number two, Astro Man. Coming in at number three, Slick Wagner Brown who, by the way, will be facing Kid USA for the television title September 7th at the Beach Club Pavilion. The number four contender is Latin Fury. Number five is Dylan Cage. Dylan Cage is uh, one of my favorite up-and-coming young wrestlers. I always thought this kid was Puerto Rican, but I guess he's an Indian. Really? But anyway, coming in at number six <laughs> is the weirdest man I know on the planet, Arch Kincaid. Coming in at number, coming at number seven, Knuckles Nelson. Number seven? Well, you've had, you've had your title shots. I mean, really, let's, let's be honest. What is this? Brian Day is not a bad guy. I've had my title shots. Don't you know? What are you talking about? <laughs> Who have you been I, talking to? I just feel kind of, you know, when I look at you, I'm just in a good, <laughs> in a good mood. I, I don't know. I just... Hey, Woody, don't forget who you are, and don't forget who you work for. Don't make me smack you. I'm over there right now. No! No! <sighs> oh. Anyway. Coming in at number eight is El Mascarado. Coming in at number nine is Rush. And coming in at number 10 is Big Woody. Well, Big Woody cracking so. the top 10 this week, folks. <coughs> and uh, I got to tell you something. I feel like this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. I've been a professional wrestler for 10. <laughs> you've, you really, you've had a very distinguished career. There's no <laughs> What if, I gotta ask you something though. What's with the Astro, what's with the Astro Man shirt? I like Astro Man. <laughs> you like Astro? Yeah. You like Astro Man? Well, you know, you guys, your hair do very similar. Well, I guess it's time once again for us to go to the $1,000 Big Woody Body Slam Challenge. And this week, we have, I don't know where you came up with this one, Woody. Joe Moakley. Sound guy, carries around a lot of heavy stuff all day. I figured, you know, somebody new, somebody different with a real chance at doing it. Well, he's an outstanding DJ, and we're very happy to have him here at Wrestling Star Wars. And he's going to take his shot at the 501-pound human tripod, <laughs> Big Woody. Let's get down to the beach club and take a look at this right now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the $1,000 Big Woody Buddy Slam Bounty. Now, thus far, nobody has quote unquote legally slammed Big Woody for the $1,000. And uh, this week could be an exception. Let's uh, find out. Tonight at the Body Slam Challenge will be Joe Mowgli. Joe Moakley? Who's his opponent? Joe Moakley's the audio technician, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's perfect. Joe, He's got well, a, perfect, perfect. Are you kidding me? He's got this a, guy got, got body slammed right on this very program. Amplifiers and various other Are you uh, a pieces nut? of large hi-fi equipment I mean, all day long. This Joe, is perfect. Joe Moakley's a great guy, but He's I mean, a, he weighs 85 pounds for crying out loud. Are you kidding me? Look at that. He's wearing sneakers, athletic pants. Clearly, he trains Joe Brian Webster. Moakley. This guy, this Bulbous, Big Woody got body slammed by Brian Day right on this program not too long he's, ago. Look at, he's, and you, would you would you give me that Joe uh, Moakley is wearing athletic pants? Joe, why don't you go up there and wrestle Joe Moakley? 
I'll take on Joe Mobley. I'm sure you would. Oh, boy. Juking and jiving inside the squared circle is big. What gravity rules. It certainly does. And it's a good thing, too. Let me tell you that much. Joe Mokley, great guy, great audio technician, but in no way is he going to be able to slam Big Woody. Indeed, so, referee calls get for the chance? bell. And, uh, no, no, you get one chance. That's it. Pay attention for crying out loud. Big Woody retains the $1,000. Yeah, we know you're Big Woody. Thank you very much. But mm -hmm. if Woody was sitting at a dunk tank at a carnival, Mokley would have gotten at least three tennis balls, he yes? He could be sitting at a Dunkin' Donuts and Mokley's still not going to body slam him. I still think he should have gotten more than one opportunity, Brian Webster. Stick around. It's Wrestling Star Wars right here on This Week in Wrestling. And we're back here, and I got to tell you, Woody, that Joe Mokley gave it all he had, but obviously, like anyone else on the planet, he couldn't <laughs> slam the human tripod. No, couldn't get it done. He gave it a good go, but eh, just like the rest. You know, I understand that the Gladiator has requested a shot at the body slam bounty, the $1,000 bounty, and what do you think about him giving it a shot there, Big Wood? I think he's more than welcome to step up to the plate. It's an open challenge. Anybody can give it a go. And I think that we've made it pretty clear right now that Brian Day has been banned from body slam attempts, and I think it should be that way, because that ignorant pig shouldn't have another shot at slamming Big Woody. And I want to say something on a personal note to sick dog, Billy Montville. You come down to the ring and stick your head in my match. What are you laughing at? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Go, go ahead. Talk, talk about sick, sick dog. dog. You made a big mistake when you stuck your face in my business, and I will have a big surprise for you and everybody September 7th at the Beach Club Pavilion when wrestling Star Wars <laughs> invades that arena again. And you know, some of the other matches that are coming to that night will be the TV title, Kid USA is going to put his belt on the line against Slick Wagner Brown, and in the main event, oh, the New England heavyweight champion, B.A.D., big and dumb, Brian Day, will defend his title oh, in a handicap match against Knuckles Nelson and the human tripod, Big Woody. And once again, I will have a big surprise for you, Brian Day, come September 7th. And you know something? Astro Man, Dylan Cage, Latin Fury, all the great stars of wrestling Star Wars will be there. And right now, we're going to take you back to the Beach Club Pavilion, and we're going to take a look at Astro Man as he takes on Ron Zombie in a match to determine who really has that devastating fin... <laughs> It, it should be a good. It should be a good match. <laughs> what is so funny? Nah, it's just you know you just you just look so different. You just look. <laughs> you look. Shut up, Woody. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really. Brian Day's gonna teach you how to get in shape. You better shut up right now. <laughs> you have to. Well, I, never mind. All right, we're gonna get back down to the beach club right now for this outstanding match.